Hey y'all, it's Ruth from Isn't That So? And today I wanna go over how to draft a custom fit bodice pattern. Now, this is the front pattern. So let's start using our L square and we'll draw in a nice right angle. Okay, now we're going to mark the center front neckline to the waist. My measurement was 15 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little hash mark there. All right, now we're going to mark in the measurement from our center front neck to the inside of our shoulder. Mine was three and a half. We'll put a little hash mark there and um, go ahead and extend that line out just as a nice reference point. All right, now we will put in the center front inside shoulder to the waist. Mine was exactly 18 inches, so that worked out well for me. All right, and now we're going to put the center front neck to the outside of the shoulder measurement. Mine was seven, so I'll put a hash mark and go ahead and draw in a vertical line there. Okay, now I'm gonna mark my bust point. Mine was seven inches below my center front neck and I'll go ahead and draw in a horizontal line here. All right, and now my Center front to my side seam is 10, so we'll put in 10 and draw a hash mark. And now you're going to mark the waist. I was exactly eight. And again, draw a hash mark. All right, now what we need to do is draw in that diagonal me measurement from our waistline to the outside of our shoulder point. Mine was exactly 18, so once again, that worked out quite well. Go ahead and put a hash mark in that spot. That's going to designate the slope of our shoulder seam. And now we're gonna draw in our side seam length. Now my side seam length was about eight inches, which happened to fall right in line with my bust measurement. That may or may not be the case for you. Either way, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna go ahead and mark that measurement because odds are you might be changing it later after we sew up a muslin. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect the dots. Let's draw in our shoulder seam. And now using our French curve, let's draw in our neck measurement. And you kind of just line this up just so, um, so that way the center front is on a right angle and there's that horizontal line there anyway. So that's gonna go ahead and make that shape there for you. And draw in your armhole. And you know, watching this video, my armhole looks a little goofy. Now it probably wouldn't look like that in my final pattern. Just um, bear with me guys. Maybe I was a little nervous while I was drawing. No, <laughs> okay, um, draw in your side seam. And there you have it. We have created our front bodice pattern. And please note that this pattern does not have style lines or darts or seam allowance or anything. I mean, this is just our basic measurements. So we will learn how to draft the back pattern and how to add darts and style lines and all that in follow-up videos. So thanks for watching.